Let's, let's imagine like a, when you have a side control, you need to stop to the person push you. You need to stop to kind of like a get out of the way. You need to stop, you need to stop him to uh, get away from you or push you away from him. So imagine like, you guys know how this door open, right? This door open like a, this way. So sometimes we put the weight on the wrong place when the other person push and he don't want the door open. You don't want the door open. A lot of people put the weight here and then you don't stop, you can't stop the door open because it's not open this way. So you have to put the weight where the door is open because over there you're going to be waste your energy, you're going to be waste like the angle, you're not going to find the right angle to push. It's the same thing on the ground. It's the same thing against your opponent. If you put weight where the other person is not pushing away, he's still going to push away. So anywhere where the other push is pushed away, that's where you're going to keep your weight. I think the idea of Jiu-Jitsu is like, a, you're strong, you feel strong, but the other person may be stronger than you. So you cannot just fight strength to strength. But you can find a place that you can be stronger than him. Like the choke, the, the submission, you get stronger than him once you have like a, uh, the right submission. But we have to constantly try to find a place that the other person is not a lot stronger than us. So we can never go against his strong, his strength. So we have to try to find a way that like uh, you can beat him. Can you tell them they can get up? Just in case they... Uh, Mateus, can you come in please? Can you go on your, on your back, head the way. So guys, Imagine the person is not getting out. When I say he's getting out, like he's not trying to get out. So if he's not trying to get out, it's not because he's not trying to get out that he can take the weight out. Once you take the weight out, he can just kind of push and get, get himself away from you. So even when he's not trying to get out, I cannot take my weight out. If he's trying to get out, he can any moment like I done the hook and try to get out. But he's not trying to get out. And the longest like uh, I stay like this, maybe he's just setting up something for me. So I cannot stay waiting. To, to him to move. So I need to move and try to get him like a, uh, in a place that I need to, so I can be able to finish. So what I was trying to say is this. Instead of being against his arm, where he's gonna push me, you know, I'm gonna be like away from his arm. I'm gonna be pushing his arm away from him. And once I feel like he's gonna be open, imagine he's gonna be open his arm, I have to put the weight not on his head because he's still gonna push and come out, but I have to push the weight like a, most like on, on his hands, most like on his elbows, where I feel like uh, I have my weight, so he cannot open the door, so he cannot get me off, so he cannot open, get a leverage, and push me away. So a lot of the time, the push is getting out, but then he, they, you put in the, you put in the pressure on his head because you feel I'm gonna just hold his head. If I hold his head, it's gonna be fine. But then he keep getting, out, getting the hook, and then he keep getting out. So imagine like what I was just talking about. If that's the way that he's gonna, that's the way he's gonna uh, try to get you up. You have to put as much weight you can on that place. And I'm not just putting like a shoulder pressure. I'm putting like all my weight. And I'm not only putting my weight because maybe your weight is not enough. But I'm driving. I'm driving my weight against his hands. So I'm constantly like a moving, but at the same time not letting him move. I'm constantly like a Try to find an open, but not let him kind of like get out. And everything against his arm. So he's gonna need his arm to get him off. He's gonna need the arm to get a pump. He's gonna need the arm to push me out. He's gonna need the arm to kind of pop himself out. So if you get a double on the hook, you know what I mean? Get both arms on the arm. You know, he can easily push and get himself out. So I have to, don't let his arm. So my concentration is on his arm, but I cannot pass his arms. He cannot be here and then I pass his arm and then he push it out. Right? And then he does the same thing on the other way. So I have to like be on his arm and keep him fighting his arm, keep his hands low. Well, the reason why I want to keep his hands low is because I want his neck open. I want his neck exposed. I don't want him like this. I don't want to be him like this. So he has his arms like him. I'm going to be fighting. I'm going to put all my weight against his arm. If I put the weight on his shoulder, if I put the weight on his head, or even his biceps on his chest, he still can pop me out. So I have to make sure my weight is here. And I'll keep him exposed. But all my weight is there so he doesn't get out. He doesn't get out and he stays open and exposed. So I'm gonna fight to keep his hands low. I'm gonna fight to keep his hands low. I'm gonna be pushing, putting a lot of weight. Imagine the arms is pushing up. I'm putting weight. 
And whenever I feel like, okay, his arm is like complete low, I can reach back and go to the top. So I keep him like a stuck underneath, I keep him like a stable. He's not getting out, he's not pushing my face. He's, he's stable, and then whenever I feel like, uh, okay, now it's time, I'm gonna try to surprise him. So he has his arm low, bye, bye, and then go back. Stay lined up with him, guys. First hand goes around his head, but the second hand goes under. And just finish that. <clears throat> First hand, second hand goes on. First hand like face down, second hand face up like this. Let's go on. Uh, they squeeze, the last thing you're gonna do is like drop your shoulder. Once you start squeeze, you don't move anymore. You, you think you find the right place, don't move anymore. Just concentrate and squeeze. Um, who's on board, guys? Just try to keep your arms a little bit like this and the other person has to clean up your arms out of the way. And then we just push the choke. But let's make sure you get the arms out of the way before you get the choke. And don't focus in the, in the choke because you don't want the other person to see you really want to go to the choke. Fight his arm, fight his arm, and when you get his arm down, you reach for the choke quick. Let's go try it. Guys, I don't know if everybody was taking notice, like I'm taking his arms out of the way as a prevention, and also like uh, so he doesn't really see what I'm looking for. So I'm working his arm, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get his arm tight. I'm just gonna get his arm out of the way. I'm just getting his arm kind of like a busy. I don't want his arm pushing. I don't want his arm. I don't want to go and try to grab his wrist. If I grab his wrist, he, he's, the first thing he's gonna do is just kind of pull his arm out. So I don't try to grab his wrist. And I'm just looking forward to give him something. If I push his arm down and then he's, he stay like this, no, he doesn't turn. If I push his arms down like this, if he doesn't turn, I know his head probably is gonna be like straight up. Once he turn into me, to me I know, I know, I know the whole body start looking towards it. So I don't go there. I can even push him back, and then I'm hoping like to get under a little bit more. You know? But maybe you're gonna get someone's arm like this, and maybe he's not gonna like to get his arm like this because he feels like, a, oh, I feel like a, something's too exposed. Maybe he doesn't even feel that it's not subtle, but he feels like oh, I need to. I want to get out. I don't want to get pinned like this. You know what I mean? So I did the whole thing. I used my chest pushing him up, and now I feel like he starts turning. So he starts turning to me. As he starts turning, he didn't give me on the hook. He didn't give on the hook. He, come back, come back. So I got him here. He starts turning, but he didn't give me on the hook. But one more time, if I put the weight this way, he opened up. Right? So I don't put the weight on this way. I put the weight where he feels like he, he wants to open the door. You know? That's when he wants to get up. And once I feel he start really come up, I pull his arm out. He's almost out. But then I step on top of him. As I step on top of him, I have his arm. I, have his arm. I don't try to lock him in. I'm just trying like, don't fall. He, if he's bumping, I push him back. If he try going the other way, I stop and I just try to stay in this position. One knee stays on the floor. That knee that stays on the floor is the one that was already on the floor. I don't have nothing to do with this knee. The other leg that I step over, that's the one that I'm gonna extend it. Let's be very careful with this because a lot of people constantly make mistakes about this. So, that foot that I step over, I'm gonna extend, extend, and sit next to him. The other knee has to fall. I cannot keep the knee over there. As the knee falls, the leg just goes on top of the shoulder. That leg is on top of the shoulder, and the other one comes right behind his elbows. And then I pull, and I kind of shoot on the other side. You know? uh, if you get to one point, and if he turn, so he doesn't have his elbow, you have the arm bar, obviously. But I feel like he's not gonna, He's not gonna do this, this to his arm, but he knows like the arm bar is right there. So he's gonna try to fight, keep this way. So you're gonna go right on his elbow. So I got his arm down. I got over here, I feel like uh, he doesn't wanna be with his arm low and his head exposed. He start turning, as he start turning, I pull his, his triceps. I'm just, he's isolated, just so you guys can see. So I pull his triceps and I step over at the same time. Like over the shoulder, means over the shoulder means over this arm and not below his arm. So over the shoulder, keep this, just pull that. Let's be very uh, careful on, on that. On that. But same thing, guys. If I get over here and I feel like he start open, he start open to try like to get his arm inside. 
He's not letting me pull, but he's tagging his arm inside. If I get to this point, I'll do the opposite. I get under. Instead of pull over, I get under. Instead of step this leg, I step the other way. I have the underhook. I have almost like the opposite. Instead of have both un both over, I have one under. That step, that leg that I step over, I pull this way. I pull this way, but I don't want to fall this way. I pull this way and I fall to the other side. Goes over there. So the whole idea is like once his arm goes down, he's open, he's exposed, and he doesn't have this. He doesn't have frame. His arm is down. His arm is kind of like a stuck. He needs to move. He needs to get his arm out of there. As he gets his arm out of there, you can open or you can underhook his arm. So let's have both options. So I got his arm down. We fight on this. He starts turning. I got the underhook. He stay over. Instead of step. This leg, like the one before, I step this leg. And then we just step over. And we fall and go to the hand back. I don't want you guys concentrating one finish, so that's why I add like a three finish. But I want you guys concentrate to get the person's arm low and then figure out which one you feel like you can have first. Which one you feel like, a, oh, I like this move, let me do this first. But then I was like, more options better. Let's go try guys.